dramatic sight in the heart of Big Spring. Whether your view of the historic hotel is outside or inside, there's no shortage of beautiful views. We are Big Spring, Texas with the big historic hotel. The hotel's food and beverage director, Jessica Alvarez, grew up here. My favorite thing is just the history behind it. The hotel first opened October 1st of 1930 and stayed in operation until the early 1980s. It was just an old empty building. For 30 years, it sat vacant until finally being renovated and reopened in 2012. Brent Ryan purchased it for $75,000 and uh, put in a $30 million renovation at this property. When they renovated this property, they really did everything to try to keep it the way it was in 1930. This is a presidential suite. It is on the 14th floor. There have actually been two presidents that have stayed here, LBJ and uh, President Hoover. We also have had um, Lawrence Welk, um, Buddy Holly, and then Elvis on the third floor. The presidential suite also has a fancy bathroom. There are TVs above its tub. We have a, probably the, the best bathroom in town. Uh, funny to say that. And for guest services manager, Justin Norwood, who also lives in Big Spring, his favorite part. I love the neon signs at night. Um, I, I can actually see it from my house. There's also a stunning staircase and a phenomenal poem. But maybe even more interesting than what you'll see is what you'll hear. A housekeeper that um, said that she had seen a ghost and then, you know, kind of was just really uh, spooked out by that. Hotel Settles General Manager Iman Campbell shares a bit of the hotel's spooky history. We've heard where, you know, there's somebody in the in the bar. But, you know, if I was a ghost, I guess that's where I would hang out too. Free drinks after bar closes. So <laughs> I think people want to say it's haunted and want to hear ghost stories, but no, nothing yet. <laughs> the lobby also has its own fair share of history from incredible photos to this. Um, so we do have a 1929 Ford um, that was featured in Forbes magazine. We have two phone booths that were in the original property. They're not functioning, unfortunately, but they are really fun. There's so much to see. I feel like Big Spring really needed it. It did bring life back into this town. And this historic hotel also gives people who live in Big Spring something to brag about, something that makes them stand out from the rest. It makes me feel proud to be from Big Spring. It makes me proud to say that this is my home and this is what this town has to offer.